Yeah, let's do it, guys. Fucking high eye level male thing drops. Wonder who's getting that. Where's all our hunters at, Bill? Our hunters are actually pretty good for all that. Sadly, especially the survival. BM's probably better than Mars, I think. They very destroyed the parasites, too. The survival. Forget about it. Butcher. It's only the melee hit the parents. Oh my god. Yep. Chad's gonna be star falling. They're getting a razor pack. I got it. Get it. Would be nice if I didn't have to wear it. You tried without it? That would be nice if it back. We have like 7 to 9 million depending on crates on each grade, pretty much. So it's almost on trick, so I can actually get up to 917. That's so fun. Good. Thank you, still is. What the? My disc? He wanted to buy some disc stuff, you know? And I haven't actually put up uh, disc things in a while for YouTube things, so I want to make sure I got some out, you know? And it's always a good time. This is always a great week for Apexes. It's so fun, I've been trying to get more disc stuff in raid, but when you're like, I'm not, I'm not even like a dozen trades behind. I'm like a handful of trades behind. It still feels really crappy playing disc in it. You know. Only I got five hundred. People need to. I mean, half a lot of the time in that phase, I'm either bare form or doing myself. Yeah, I can easily do like at least thirty mil more positive. I'm using like a better target. Switch. Get everything dotted up here. We just need mind bender and they can really, really need get the tank taken care of. I might actually have to rads this. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Do you do much to be us? Oh. It's legendary. You have decent amount. Yeah. It's yeah, a pain. I, I seriously wish that, that you could just level all your uh, traits and stuff like they're the same. Cause yeah, I mean, you don't see anybody don't know, who's like switch is, hitting for progression. You don't see people like switching between holy and disc based on the fights. Like that'd be awesome. Uh, that's what you used to be able to do, right? It's like, oh yeah, you're rewarded for being able to be more flexible with specs and stuff. Like, now it's I like, eh, nope. Give it a couple Sorry, it's pretty lame. I, I really did. hope that they kind of go back to that. With, I mean, they're letting us have, what, 35 traits and stuff like that? With 7.2? Like, I think every trait's getting it? Something like that? So I'm hoping it'll kind of come back. I'll be like, oh yeah, you can actually uh, be playing multiple specs and like progression and stuff, you know? Happy been I was just a fish dude. Oh, I mean, in phase two, the problem is that... We're at a range. Don's back up. Yeah, phase two, I keep getting the flames at the worst time. So, you Between hitting like faint up. and even yeah. if I can hit the eye, I have like zero energy to do anything to the eye. Yeah, we definitely don't care about those phase one eyes because there's like no mechanics. Can't kill them. So we can get everybody topped off here. There's not going to be too much damage, so I just want to make sure everybody's topped off as best I can just from dealing damage. Then I'm going to end up having to switch gears into like actually doing DPS here. Hopefully. Yeah, like that last pull, I did like. Almost 70 million more damage to the boss than Decker did. Expansion's in a weird spot of being a great expansion, but also having, having some this of this the this worst terrible, <laughs> have the most terrible fucking systems. Yeah, yeah I agree, dude. They'd have, they'd have throughout the entire game's history, legendaries, artifacts. Yeah, I agree. I like the Titan Warforge. I think there needs to be bit bigger restrictions on it so that it's not like absolutely absurd, where it's like, I can do LFR and get Mythic Grave gear. Like, I think that's dumb. Uh, legendaries need something like. They should have just made it so that there's a couple specific Shadow legendaries for every spec, and then you get a token for them, you know? Or you just reduce the amount of legendaries oh, out there, so you're getting... You're grinding until you get your legendaries, and you're like, alright, cool. Because otherwise, the alternative is what we have right now, where it's like, okay, I'm gonna have legendaries that are total garbage, that feel horrible to get. And that's just the worst thing ever. Like, why? Uh, 922. 
That stuff's like absolutely the worst. I get those. Well, that's because they have uh, they have stupid OP relic. Sorry, what? What's your effect of iron level with like traits and stuff? One sec. There we go. But literally make it so there's nothing but utility legendaries. Yeah, that too. You know, you have to like reduce the scope of it so that it's not gonna feel so great or so horrible when you get a certain legendary. Like if we finish this instance and I get Valen's future sight, like I'm gonna be ecstatic. If I finish this instance and I get Safu's, I'm gonna be pissed, you know? Like that that kind of polarization just sucks. Where your expected amazing um, awesome reward is just actually horrible. Like, why? And the fact that they constantly, constantly, constantly have to keep on patching the legendaries, like we just saw today with 7-2, right? It's like horrible, dude. I'm just gonna paint stuff in here. It's probably one of the hardest packs to deal with. Get some dots running. We got Mindbender running as well. Dots up, dots up, dots up. Just a little bit of Shadow Man here. I think I'm still... Alright, there we go. We're good, we're good. Yeah, the polarization is just a bad thing. I think it's one of the biggest problems. I mean, hell, if we're even talking about disc right now. It's so polarizing because there's so many manic mechanics. You feel like you're obligated to get Wisdoms, Innervates, and stuff like that. Because the alternative is your performance just tanks if you don't have them. You know? Like, Holy Priest, for example. You kind of, like, scale up, scale down your use of, uh, like, Prayer of Healing and everything like that. But... You can play disc and it's like, well, you don't have this, you're holding your dick the entire time. It feels horrible. It feels really, really bad. And progressing in content and item is an upgrade, not a, not a chance of a procs. Yeah, definitely. It does suck that, like, best in slot lists, for example, are pretty irrelevant. Because it always begs the question of, like, oh, this could Warforge, this could do whatever. It could socket, yada, yada, yada. So what are you left with? You're like, well, maybe this is better sometimes. Or just, like, get a billion trinket questions, you know? It's like... I get that they didn't like it to begin with, but still. I don't know. And my concern is going into, like, next expansion, they're gonna say, okay, this didn't work, let's roll the dice and try something new. And it's just like, oh, god. I kinda wish I had, uh... A tank CD again for this one, but it won't be that, that bad. Oh shit. A lot of fears. Group him back so he can be dealing some damages. Well, at least we're starting the RP. I haven't even been, like, bothered with, um, with Overflow so far. It's so nice with Disc, you're just always taking it on, taking it off. Feels really good, actually. I may regret this. Eh, I'm not gonna regret this. It'll be fine. See? Inch the top off for everybody. Now I just gotta deal with the overflow that'll come later when he stomps us again. Because we gotta would stomp in 15 seconds. So keep the tank alive here. Right after I redot. Mmm. Wait a little bit. Now we're gonna get a Toman on everybody. And then he does the stomp in a second, I believe. Oh, he's getting manhandled again. That'll be fine. Most of this stuff will be topped off at this point. As long as the tank's okay, he's still getting some atonement heals and stuff, we're totally fine. Now that Twist is proc and topped off just enough that I don't have to worry about him, and we're good. If they made it so like Warforge, Titanforge have very like if there was only Warforge, for example, 
You know, something could possibly be five or ten item levels higher. Like, that's totally fine with me. Having something that is possible to be raid gear, like we're running Wither Gym every week, because it could possibly be the best item in the game, because of how Warforged Titanforge Socket works, like, that's, that's absurd. I think if they reined it in, if it wasn't so extreme, I think it'd be a lot better. I mean, like, we'll do, like, log reviews and stuff like that, and people have, like, better gear than I do. It's like, holy shit. Like, props to you guys for getting good gear and stuff, but... It's not, uh, as dependent on just doing the hardest content to do the best gear. A lot of times it's luck. I try not to use much Shadow Mend. Shadow Mend's kind of like your, your emergency button. Your emergency life support. Ah, I can't drink. Yeah, rip. Ideally, you want to be able to do as much damage as you possibly can, which involves just healing primarily through Atonement, so... Right here, I'm kind of worried because if he steps into the puddles too long, he can just insta-die. Ooh, we shouldn't have had that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Rapture's kind of a trap. I would It's kind of a pain here because it's like... You're really not often needing the, uh, the full blanket. Save everything else here. Little guy's coming out. Get a couple dots up and then we're going. I just want to get to the front of the boss real quick. I can start spamming my drink and stuff, and I'll be ready and hopefully full-ish mana by the time the fight starts. Holy hell. I thought it was all dead. There we go. I gotta rebind my stuff, man. There we go. I mean, hell, look at, like, we could just go farm... Emerald Nightmare and be like, oh man, look at this. We're suddenly getting 925 Titan Forge. Like, oh boy. If anything, it kind of makes people sick of, um, like, sick of raids that are not lasting very long, or they're lasting too long, I should say. So if a raid's lasting for a long ass time, it's like, well, when's the new stuff? Because then they're going to raise the cap and I can keep on doing this content and they can still, uh, have easier chances at loot and stuff. Ooh, there's that timing, man. There's that timing. So right as the uh, the debris fall and stuff like that, most of the raids getting hit, a lot of the raids getting hit, able to have a full ramped up Light's Wrath, and I think I even have Atonement on his pet, because it said my uh, my weak work track on the top right said I had six, somehow. That was weird. Ah, I should have a better timing for that one. That was like round two of making sure I had a good ramp up. Eh, I'm good, Seawolf. I'm good, dude. Before Nit Mythic Night Hold came out, Guilds went back to Mythic again because it could proc higher. Exactly, dude. Yep, we did the same thing. We were doing splits. We were doing split Mythic uh, Emerald Nightmare because it had a chance to proc higher stuff, you know? It just had that opportunity that maybe it could possibly be proccing it. And that was it. That was what it was all about. Didn't matter if you actually got any benefits. I mean, usually we'd get like one big upgrade a night, and that would be about it. But still, you're getting one big upgrade. So, it's easily making it worth for guilds. But it's so silly at the same time. Look at my talents and uh, gear stuff at the moment. Of course, I'm like double dipping with. Uh, I'm like double dipping with Holy and. Uh, disc gear, so it's not the best of the moment. I definitely want to get a little bit more haste with this setup. And drop a lot of Master. Like, Master Mythic Plus is alright. You're doing, do, like, a lot of Atonement healing and stuff. But if you can help it, and you're able to actually, uh... get a lot more crit, you're doing a lot more damage through that stuff. The damage and the healing double dip is, like, very, very important. Kill things faster... Complete the instance faster, get more loot. Damn it, now I'm switching up my keybinds and everything. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's the chance, and then at least they finally made the move to make a artifact power drop off bosses. But then it might also just turn to saying, oh, okay, now we need to farm. We'll do, like, Mythic Nighthold farm so that we can get AP or something, you know? 
think about it, hell, you could probably just be doing Heroic Cross Realm or something like that. You do Heroic Cross Realms, once Tomb of Sargeras comes out, it's an easy, what, 10 bosses? It's usually just a million AP. Get it done in like an hour or so. That's a pretty sweet deal. Depending on what they do with, um... I'm just paint something here. This is like the last hard trash pack. Depending on what they do, right, with, uh... How much AP you're gonna get from, say, long uh, Mythic Plus stuff? It could really make a big difference. We're just bringing this here. Kill me, Smalls. I actually don't even know. Did they announce how much AP like Paul's of Valor is gonna get in comparison to like Maw of Souls or whatever? I wasn't sure if it was like a direct scale down of how much you could get from um, Maw of Souls or if it was just basically giving you more of a reward for doing Halls of Valor. Oh shit, we're pretty we're pretty pressed for time here. Maybe. Now eh, we should get it in two minutes. It is fine. No specific numbers yet? Of course. Of course. Eh, thankfully it's not a Warlock. Whenever the drain goes out, you gotta be like really quick. Just power shield him, start dumping a Shadow Man or two into him. Be very, very careful on that one. I think it's gonna turn out that the burst is coming in a second here. There it is. It's on him. This might not actually turn out as well as I'd hoped. We'll see. Because there's gonna be the big burst. Yeah. He lights Wrath. There we go. Success. Oof. Yeah, you probably could have dropped Barrier there. Drop Barrier on Melee, and then when uh, Brute or Warrior gets hit up by um, just the life drain thing. It would have been like no problem to deal with. That's alright. Ooh, rip. Apparently this is not having the best advantage here. Let's just toss that in there. Alright. Not a problem. I don't know if you could before, Sea Wolf. I know. Longer dungeons such as Halls of Valor now award a proportionally higher amount of artifact power. Shorter dungeons such as Maw of Souls now award a proportionally lower. So it sounds like they're they're reducing Maw of Souls while also upgrading other ones. So little column A, little column B. Eh, these are all right. <laughs> 